Welcome back for another episode with your favorite project Lead the Way teacher, Mr. Spaith. Today we're going to be working on holes in 5.5a. And this is just an introduction to how to make holes easily. Um, the part uses uh, some circular features, so it's also kind of intimidating to read uh, the directions on how to make it, how to read this print. But uh, we'll disseminate it pretty well here, okay? I'm going to share my screen with you so you can look at the same prints that I am looking at. So they literally just call this one holes. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at this thing. Uh, so first of all, you can tell it's a circle. The overall diameter is listed right here, four inches. That's the overall diameter. They want each of the center points, all five of these holes, each of the center points to be at a diameter of 0.25 away from the center. Okay. Um, so all of both of these circles are, this circle here is concentric with that circle. Notice, notice that this is a center line that they put around here. And they put these five holes, it says five times 72 degrees. So where do they get 72 degrees? Well, 360 degrees in a circle divided by five is 72. Okay, so very, very easy way that we are going to circular pattern these five hole center points around this 2.5 inch diameter circle here. Okay, um, the way that it's saying all the different other holes and how they're made up, we're going to go through those separately. Okay, uh, we're just going to make the circle. We're going to make it 1.5 extruded, just 1.5 inches thick. Then we're going to make this center line array of different center points. I'll show you what that means. And um, and we'll go from there, okay? So start a new part, start a sketch, and we're gonna put it on our X, Y plane. We need a circle with a diameter. Now, watch out here because you may be on radius. What do I mean by that? While I'm making a circle, if I right click, I can click radius. And now notice, I can specify my circle size with a radius dimension, or I can right click and go back and specify it with the diameter dimension. So here I'm diameter dimension. I need a four inch diameter circle bigger than my screen right now. So I'm just gonna go like that, finish. And I'm going to extrude this one, not revolve it, to 1.5 inches. Okay, so there's our hockey puck. We are gonna start a sketch on the top of it. And we are going to put another circle that is 2.5 inches in diameter. And we are going to right click and make this a, I should be able to make it a center line, but I'm not, I can't do it. So I right click on it and I make it a construction line then. Okay. There is a feature and let me just finish the sketch really quickly. There is a feature called holes. And if you click on it, you get a bunch of different, types of holes that you can make okay holes is very very easy to use um if you are using and let me go back into this sketch if you are using what's called a point and points are really nice to use because points you can specify if you'll look at my drawing the first point that i'm going to put down is right above directly above 90 degrees above my center point um right on that 2.5 inch diameter circle that I made. So my first point is going to go right here. If I right click and go, okay, you can barely see it, but do you see that little green guy right there? I can highlight it if I hover over. I want to select it. And I want to select it and go circular. I want to, I have my geometry, so it's already white. This one is red, the axis. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click my circle. And I'm going to say that I want five points. So you notice there's one, two, three, four, five. That's how we get the center point for all of our circles. So go OK. Uh, and then we're just going to go finish. So there it is. Now, when I go hole, it's going to want to put the same hole in all five places. I, I don't want that. OK, so I'm going to right click. Sorry, I'm going to hold down the control button and I'm going to unclick four of them. So now I'm only making one hole. Okay, and I don't care which one you make first. We'll, we'll just follow the directions. OK, 
Okay, so we created all this stuff. We read the directions, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the first hole that we're making is a through hole. Through a hole just goes right through the whole material. We are going to specify a, we're, gonna, we're just going to make this whole page look exactly like it does in Inventor. So I need the diameter here at 0.25, termination of through hole all the way through. Okay. So here I am, 0.25, already specified. Actually, I don't even need to do anything. Through hole, uh, simple hole. Okay. Now, one thing you'll notice is if I go hole again, it, it's not picking anything. All right. So here's how we get through that. You're going to open up right over in our browser. You're just going to regular click on the little arrow. It's going to drop down this sketch. And that's where we had all of our five center points. We're going to right click on it, go share sketch, and notice we got them back. So if you click the whole tool, again, it has all four specified. So unclick three of them holding down the control button. Our next hole is the counterbore. So we're going to click on that little dot. It'll go 0.75, big diameter, quarter inch deep, and then 0.375 or 3 eighths. It's going to be a through all and uh, no threads. So counterbore 0 0.75, 0 0.25, 3 eighths. So let's see if I can remember all that stuff. Counterbore, 0.75, quarter inch deep, 0.375, through all, simple hole, okay. All right, so it's still shared. I'm going to hit the whole tool one more time. Again, it's going to say that every, all three of these should be a, another counterbore. I'm going to hit control, hold it, unclick those two, and then see which one I'm doing. I am doing the countersink. So that's all the way down at the bottom here. So countersink, 0.75 diameter on top, 82 degree countersink at 0.375 through all simple hold. So let's see if I can remember all that stuff. For whatever reason, I need to click a couple times to get back to Inventor. So this one, 0 0.75, 82 degrees, 0 0.375 through all. Is that, that should be perfect, right? Good, perfect. And then apply. Did it. I'm going to... I, I clicked apply and I don't have to restart another hole. It just knows that I want to make another one. Except I don't like that because I couldn't unclick one of them. So there it is. I can unclick it. Okay, so my fourth one is a tapped hole. So tapped hole has threads in the hole. So we're going to do... Um, we are going to do uh, just a regular hole up on top. Through all. Tapped. And then we're going to do size of 0.25. It should pick this automatically. This one quarter 20 UNC. And we'll go through in class exactly uh, what all that means. So let, let's, let's pick it. So we are going to do drilled hole, tapped. And hopefully it doesn't freak out on me too much. There it goes. Okay, size, we're going to, so I do have to specify size of 0.25. So it does pick quarter, 20 UNC. That's just 20 turns per inch. So I'd need to, if I'm going down an inch and a half, I would need to turn this 30 full times in order to go down a full inch and a half. Okay, so class 2B. No, I don't think that's, is that what that said? Class 1B. One B. Okay, so anything else I need to specify here? I don't believe so. Through all, and then let's just see. I don't think this top looks the same. Doesn't that could just be a version thing though? So let's go back. Yeah, it's it's only having the thread portion the first half inch we want it through the whole thing so 1.5 up here so now the threads will be the, through the whole hole not just for the first half inch and go apply thread must be less than hole depth fine one inch all 
I don't know what it doesn't like about me. Fine. So there it goes. So that did it. And now it's uh, just asking for our last hole because I clicked apply and not just okay. And this is just a clearance hole, uh, 0.531. So clearance hole would allow um, clearance for a screw to be drilled on the bottom of this somewhere so that it doesn't hold this uh, hockey puck down somewhere. It, just, it allows a screw head to go all the way down to the bottom. Okay, it clears room for a screw head. That's why it's called a clearance hole. So first one, 0.351. Uh, so it, it is threaded here, so we'll go right here, drill point, a uh, distance through all. Click on this guy, see if it gives us all the right stuff from here on out. Okay, so we are going to make this one 0.531. I believe that's what it asked for. Yep, 0 0.531 through all right here, and then size half, and then fit normal. Size half fit normal, perfect. So right there, and then on OK. So we are done with our hockey puck. If you don't like that you have all of these things on there. You can go over to the sketch now, right click on it, and just uncheck visibility. And now all that's gone. Okay. So, so look really, really close to what we have, and that should be it. We followed all the directions. Hopefully that was helpful, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.